Thanks for stopping by, guys, and welcome back to Stormworks. Now, there has been quite a bit of time between this episode and the last one, and the reason for that is I have been working on a rather big project. Now, this project isn't completely done, but it is fully functional. Really, the only thing I've left to do is some of the detailing work like that. So, I want to show it off in its current form because I really like what it's, where it's going, but at the same time, I'm not sure if it's worth to continue working on. There are some flaws, and I think I just want to fix those with a new version rather than trying to keep tweaking this one. Now this doesn't have a name. Its nickname while I've been working on it is the Overlord just because it's the biggest ship the game will pretty much allow you to make. Um, however, that is also the problem. It is pretty much the biggest ship this game will allow you to make. My original intent was to have this be a mobile base slash aircraft carrier, but the top deck for this is too small to really land crafts properly. I have been able to do it successfully, however, it's usually a case of just slamming the aircraft onto this top deck and hoping it sticks. So with that being said, it didn't really fulfill that purpose all too well, but it does fulfill the purpose of being a mobile base pretty well. Now if you come down here, this goes down into the cockpit. And as you can see, the cockpit's down here instead of up on top in a tower like that one over there is. The reason for that being, I wanted to give myself as good a chance as I could to land, so I decided to take the tower off the top and put it into this like little weird bug-eyed looking thing on the front of the ship. Once I get in here, I'll show you what I mean. Look at these little weird bug-eyes on the front of the ship. Interesting to say the least. Now up here you can turn on the engines. They're already on, so we're just going to go ahead and come out of the dock that we were in. Up here you have instrument lights. You have the cruise control, which I've been adding on a lot of my ships. And this little button turns on a crude autopilot. Now what this does is it basically has a compass in the ship that looks at the ship's current pointing position compared to the sh ship's current north position, locks those in place, and basically prevents the ship from deterring off that path. And right now we should be sailing into open waters, at least until we get near these islands down here. So that means I can move about the ship freely and show, you all, show off some of the stuff here. Now, like I said, this is still currently a work in progress, and I don't have all the details in, so that's why this area is barren. Coming back here, you have a small med bay. You also have a small crew quarters. And this is the great big thing about this ship. Come down here. You have a vehicle bay with a vehicle currently in it. Now, this doesn't come with the ship itself. It's another vehicle I've been working on. So, just quickly showing off the features over here. You come over here, you can actually bring this lift down. This was intended for when I was planning to land planes and stuff on here, but since I can't really land planes, it's kind of just a spare lift for the sake of having a lift. Now, coming back over here, you do have a full crane, essentially, and that's what you can use to bring up these ships. Now this is a duck, as most people have called them. They're an American World War II amphibious vehicle. You see them a lot now for tourist stuff. You see them, especially around Wisconsin, you see a lot of them. But basically they're a simple amphibious vehicle designed in, during World War II, I do believe. And with all the setup, you can actually hook it to this crane and drop it. Now, before I do that, I'm going to turn off the ship because I don't really intend to try dropping this at full speed. Probably could do it, and I actually, you can do it because I know the duck can self right in the water, but I'm not willing to try it at the moment. Go ahead and turn off the in, turn on the engine, turn off the brake. Now I just got to get it lined up with these connectors right here in front of us. You could, if you really felt like it, just drive it off the edge and it would work, but why have it? What's the point of having a crane if you don't use it? Let's go ahead and lower these hooks down and turn them on so that they start hooking up. There we go. 
bring the duck up and send this crane out the side of the ship. Oh, the duck got a little stuck, so it's bouncing a little bit. So we're going to wait for it to settle down. And actually, I'm going to bring this a bit closer. You could set the duck in the water softly and do all that, and it'd be fun, it'd be fine. But I'm actually going to try and get in the seat here. Bring this a bit closer. If I fall off, I've got a small ramp here I can get back up on. There we go. So now we're hanging out the side of the ship. Which is all fine and dandy, but we need to get into the water. So our engines are already on, brakes are off. Ready? Drop. And now we're off. We're a little amphibious craft, whatever you call this. Little dingy, little boat, little derpy motherfucker. Yay! We're able to cruise the waves while our big ship just sits there and waits for us. This is, can be especially useful when just trying to get up on areas like land where you can't really bring a big ship. And also docking, because this game does not have very many large dark docking ports. A lot of them are those small little wooden ports that you have to deal with. So now we're going to go ahead and get this line back up for our crane. Luckily the crane, crane did it English. Luckily the crane is pretty flexible, so you don't have to be spot on accurate. And getting in it is getting this back in the ship is a bit more difficult than I wish to admit because this duck is pretty much the exact size of this opening. Let's go ahead and turn these off so they don't try and attack track to each other. Bring these down. I actually need to turn the ship's magnets back on. There we go. Here's this little ramp I was talking about earlier. Come on, let me up. There we go. Oh no, the duck's moving away. I actually need to bring the duck back because it's moving a little too far. There we go. Close enough. Get back on the ship so we can start activating the magnets and do all the stuff we need to do to get the duck back on board. And the duck's drifting away again. Now this magnet should hopefully pull the ship a bit forward. Come on, connect. I know you want to. No, you aren't to. Come on, damn it. <sighs> Gotta go help it. There we go. Get that one on. And then I should be able to tension that up a little bit. which should bring that rear one into place as well. There we go. Now we're able to pick the duck up out of the water. And if you have a craft that's too big to fit in this bay, you could just leave it on the side. There are some issues with weight, but you can still drive the craft. I wouldn't use the autopilot with too, many, too much weight off the side because autopilot sometimes can't compensate for that. So now it ducks all the way up. Now the tail is going to get snagged on this doorway. Because the duck is just a bit too big. Come on. Shove. Shove.
Heave. Oh. I could probably made this fit better, but I know I can get it in, so I'm not all too worried about it. There we go. We're in. Lower the back down. Disengage the magnets. Bring the crane all the way back up. Get back in the seat. Now we're able to bring it back in the dock. Gauge the brakes. And we're loaded up for another mission somewhere else. I could probably turn off the engine, but I'm just going to leave it because I'm lazy. Now, one thing I do want to show with this duck, finally, is I actually want to do a beach landing with it. I have to go back towards main base to do that. Oh, shit. I have cruise and autopilot on. There we go. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention. This is big ship can turn on a dime. <laughs> forgot to mention that. It's really maneuverable, really maneuverable and actually quite fast, surprisingly. So now that we're heading back straight at main, go ahead and turn on my cruise or my autopilot and let the ship do the work for me. Oh, nope, my autopilot wasn't set right. That should be a good heading. So I'm going to get close to the beach, not on the beach. I'm going to drop the duck and do a beach landing. That's the ultimate goal here. Alright, and here we are. We've just arrived at the beach, so we're going to hop out of our helm. Run back to our vehicle bay. And get the duck prepped for launch. Now I need to get in the seat, disengage the brake, drive forward until I get about here, re-engage the brake just for now, which should allow me to get to my controls. Now the duck's hooked up, pick up the duck. Bring the duck out. Then we can go ahead and bring the duck down. And back towards us a little bit so I can get in that seat and do a proper launch. Okay. Brakes off. Engine's on. Throttle up. Three, two, one, drop. Oh, it's majestic. Not the fastest thing ever, but still majestic. All right, we're getting ready to come up on the beach. Touchdown. There we go. Get some traction. And we did it. We did a full and proper amphibious touchdown from my, essentially, my aircraft carrier. So I'm really, really pleased with this. I really am. I know this duck was a bit rushed at the end, but... Just the overall outcome is beautiful. So, if you did enjoy this as much as I did, please leave a like or a comment down below. Right now, shares out the channel the most, so if you do want to help with this channel, please share this episode with a friend. Thanks for stopping by, thanks for sticking around, and until next time, wait for it. Wait for it. Peace.